tutorial today we're going to make oxtail um, very easy using a crock pot so first we have about this is about three pounds of um, oxtail here and for seasoning we're going to have um, salt soy sauce rice wine pepper scallion onion garlic ginger and these are rock sugar if you don't have raw sugar you can use brown sugar and let's get started first we're going to marinate the oxtail just put salt and pepper all over it Hold it with salt and pepper. Just like this. For the garlic, we want to use one head. Smash them. Just like this. So we're going to peel the ginger like this. Ginger. And then. So we're going to bound the oxtail first. Okay. Heat up the pan. Yeah, I love the coconut oil, so I'm going to use the coconut oil. Give some kick to the flavor. Um, you can use any oil, um, but I think I'm going to use the coconut oil because I love it. Next, we're going to use this pan and make the sauce. So, so that we get all the flavor. First, we'll medium heat the rice wine. <laughs> the rice wine. Half a cup. Bring it to a boil. Also, one third cup of soy sauce. The wine come to a boil. We want to also bring the rest of the ingredient like this. Cover it bring it to a boil. Well, as it come to a boil like this. Actually this is the time I would like to put in the raw candy. Or brown sugar. Looks good now. So what we're gonna do next is we this is what we're gonna put all this sauce into the crock pot. Alright, just like this and we're going to put it on high. Just like this. For about five hours. Um you know you know it's done when it become jelly, the tendon become jelly like that. 
So put it on high for five hours or six hours. So check on it and see if it's done. Do a quick check on the meat. See how this is so tender for the bone. Group. So this is ready. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it cool down and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight. Okay, from the refrigerator, now you can see reason we put it in the refrigerator is now the fat is very easy to take it out like that. So now we can take away all the fat. Well at least the one the, the stuff that on the on the top. These ones are all fat. So we're gonna take those out. And as you take it out afterward then well what you can do is you can freeze this if you don't eat it yet or if you want to reheat it you can put it in the microwave or you can just boil it and just reheat it and it's ready to go so for this I just microwave and heat it back up let's try it wanna try? Mm -hmm. very tender Go. Mm hmm very good. Nice and tender. Good flavor. <laughs> How come you give a look there? I saw it. <laughs> no, it's good. I was sliding off my cheek lip for a minute. That's good. Very good. <laughs>